You're listening to Nurse Converse, presented by Nurse.org, a collaborative podcast amplifying diverse nurse voices. Get ready for a dose of inspiration, a sprinkle of education, and a whole lot of community. Welcome to another episode of Nurse Converse, a Nurse.org collaborative podcast. I'm Emily Chang, a former ICU travel nurse turned CEO and co-founder of MedVenture App. Whether you're a new or seasoned nurse, I'm hoping that my story inspires you to create and execute your dream life. I'm a nurse of almost nine years, started off in New York in a critical care fellowship in CCU and then worked in CTICU. And then after two and a half years of being staff, I left everything I knew and loved and became a travel nurse. I always knew that I wanted to be a travel nurse because being paid to travel around the country and be able to take care of others was truly such a dream. I was a traveler for five years, working in all specialties in critical care and was even able to take assignments in outpatient clinics and PACU. And now I work as a mobile IV nurse and as a nurse entrepreneur. I became curious about sense of belonging, community, and loneliness when I first became a travel nurse back in 2018. I was on my second assignment in San Francisco, California, and I was feeling the intensity of homesickness and loneliness. And it's usually in those first few assignments that you feel homesick and you start to doubt everything and this path that you've chosen for yourself when everything is in shock, right? Everything's shocked to the system since you are in constant transition as a traveler. You start a new job, you have new coworkers, you're, you have a new living situation, you have new routines, absolutely everything is new. And this can sometimes lead to loneliness on top of the difficulty of relating to other people when you're a nurse and you have experiences that most people will never be able to understand. So as I continue to navigate how to cope with all this constant change, I found solace in being outside. I hiked and backpacked in the mountains. Go, I went to national and state parks to witness our planet's natural beauty. I rediscovered what joy through exploring the nooks and crannies of the city I was living in. And I just feel like we live in such a distracted world, right? With constant stimulation on overload, both in and outside of the clinical arena. So once I discovered the magic of spending outside, I started to crave wanting to go outside more and more because it gave my brain the time to reset from everything. And not only did this help me to learn more about myself because I was quieting my external environment, but that led to me being able to develop more self-awareness. And this is where I realized that this gave me the opportunity to play. And I feel like as adults, we don't get to play, right? When's the last time we all played? That was probably not since you were in elementary school, probably, that you had the opportunity to play. But those are such pivotal moments for us to actually reset our brain, become creative, become innovative, be able to look at things in a very different way, to have new ideas. And anytime I was able to romp around in the mountains, be on my stand-up paddleboard, or even take a walk in the city, that was my opportunity to play as an adult. And with jobs that are so serious all the time, it's so important for us to counterbalance that with finding opportunities to play as an adult outside of work. So what I discovered during this time of being alone is that being alone is actually not the same thing as loneliness. And that being alone in the beginning of my travel nurse journey taught me how to love myself from the inside out. And this taught me also how to love my own company, how to develop that deep sense of self-awareness. I learned about my values, my interests, things that can be difficult to understand about yourself when you are externally influenced all the time. And so I started to realize what a gift it was to be a traveler and that it actually transformed my life in so many ways that I never would have known if I didn't pursue travel nursing. And I wanted to figure out a way to give this opportunity to as many people as possible. So in 2021, we created and launched MedVenture app, which is a mobile app for traveling healthcare professionals to find community tools and resources all on one platform. We are on a mission to solve loneliness for our community that once started as travelers, but has now been able to expand to the greater healthcare community. 
on the app, you can meet people based on your location and interest. You can give and get recommendations on things to do, where to eat and drink, housing options. You can host or attend meetups and events in your area. And you can read and rate facility reviews and stay anonymous because that's super important for us to protect our community. And if you are traveling, you can also read and rate um, agency reviews as well. We also have a resources section where you can find services and goods that serve our community. So whether that's tax prep, health insurance, mentorship, physical goods, you can find discounts there and it can help you live your best life. And we've vetted all those resources. And speaking with thousands of healthcare professionals over the years, we've noticed a theme, especially after the pandemic. I call this emotional whiplash, where we're readjusting back to post-crisis life and we're left with this really intense feeling of all these experiences and emotions that most of us don't know what to do with. We all know that there are so many mental health challenges and that these are at all time high right now. And a lot of us self-isolate when we're experiencing these things because it can feel like no one else can understand what we just went through. So last year in 2023, we created a project called MedVenture Camp. And MedVenture Camp is a four-day, three-night, all-inclusive adult summer camp in Equinox, Pennsylvania. And our inspiration for this project and for this camp was to bring amazing humans in healthcare into the great outdoors to disconnect from the chaos that is healthcare so that they can reconnect with themselves, with nature, and the community at large. There's truly nothing as amazing as bringing people in our community together for a collective reset. And a sample of what a day at camp is like is that you wake up in the morning, there are holistic sessions, we call this morning sessions, everything from Reiki, sound healing, yoga, Pilates, self-care workshops, peer-to-peer debriefs. These are all taught by healthcare professionals. And these are modalities that have worked for them that they then learned about, got educated on, and now they are reteaching back to our community. And then we go into breakfast and then we go into educational sessions. So on the two main days of the camp, we have one workshop that is going to be for people who are travelers or curious about traveling. So we have recruiters that will come and demystify and also empower our community through education and really debunk a lot of misinformation that there is out there about the traveling market. And then on the second full day, we have former travelers who are now exploring other avenues in life, whether that means going back to school or real estate or working in the farm industry, you can learn about that and learn about how traveling has set them up for the careers that they have now. And then we go into lunchtime and then we open up the entire rest of the afternoon for activities. So there is every sport imaginable possible on this campus. And there's a rock climbing wall, there's archery. We have a pool and we host a pool party. We also have paints and sip. There's a huge slip and slide that goes into the lake. The entire campus is on a 400 acre campus and there's a lake centralized and then there's cabins with all these different amenities and activities that you can do. We even have a couple coming in to have a coffee tasting and spring roll making workshop. So there's so much that you can do. And then after all the activities in the afternoon, we go into dinner time. And then after dinner time, we have an activity at nighttime. So some of the activities each night is a different activity. So whether that's family feud, we have karaoke, we have talent show, we have camp Olympics that happen on the second full day. There's so many things to do on the campus. And we usually say that this is a choose your own adventure because it truly is. We just want you to come as you are and whatever resonates with you, whatever you're curious about, we have curated this experience that you can opt into as many or as little things as possible, but we want you to come and rest. I want you to recharge and play and connect with the community because when else are you able to connect with people outside of work, outside of your coworker space, right? So as nurses, we're always the support systems for 
everybody else. But we carry and experience so much in our careers. And we are so honored to be able to support our community, not only through the technology of MedVenture app, but also in person at MedVenture Camp. So what's included in your camp ticket? It is all inclusive. So this includes your cabin accommodations, as well as daily cleaning. All your meals are included, breakfast, lunch, dinner. We have a s'mores bar at nighttime. We have a coffee bar that's always available. Lots of snacks. You will never go hungry. We also have an open bar at nighttime. We have activities such as yoga, hiking, running, cold plunging, kickball, tennis, karaoke, archery, tubing, stand-up paddleboarding. We literally have everything available on the campus. You also receive a exclusive MedVenture Camp t-shirt. That will be our Camp Olympic t-shirt as well as a welcome package. And you get to access our educational empowering workshops. And then there are themed nights as well. So every single night we have a different theme. This year's theme will be In It to Win It, which is a sports theme. We have superheroes and villains. And then on the last night we will have Roaring Twenties. Most importantly, this is an adventure of a lifetime. When else are you able to connect with the community in the great outdoors and really have this curated experience with our community? It is such a work of heart to be able to host our community for such a special experience. A few other facts and questions that we get asked is, is transportation included? So we are asking everybody to fly into Newark, New Jersey. So from Newark, New Jersey, if you are not local, we will coach bus everybody up to campus, which is about two hours away from New York, New Jersey. If you are a local in the area, you are more than welcome to drive onto campus. If you do opt in for the bus, round trip bus transportation, this is an extra cost. And then with the driving onto campus, that is free of any cost and you can park on campus with no additional cost. Also about who can go to MedVenture camp. So this camp is not only for traveling healthcare professionals. We are inviting all humans in healthcare, especially the nursing profession who has been through so much in the last few years and probably need a retreat, a reset, a place to be exactly as they are. This is a great place for you to come. And we also invite significant others. We invite friends. People who came last year who did not work in healthcare had such a fun time just relaxing, resetting, really having fun and connecting with others in the community. So we do invite you to be on this MedVenture Camp adventure with us. So if you are interested in joining us for MedVenture Camp, you can find us on Instagram at MedVenture Camp. And we hope to see you June 6th to 9th in Equina, Pennsylvania. People also often ask me, what do they do when they have an idea and they want to launch it? My advice is to do market research. See what is already out there and see what solutions there already are for the problem that you're trying to identify. And if you are you find other competitors that are creating what you're similar to what you're trying to create, that's okay. But how is what you're trying to create different? I think as nurses, a lot of times when we're in our clinical setting, we obviously have a lot of workarounds. We see so many problems. And a lot of times we think of solutions of, I could create something better. I think if you are looking to create something and bring it into the world, I think a really good way, if you don't know what that is yet, is to just go about your everyday nursing life and start to notice whether that's conversations that you have with your coworkers or with patients or that you yourself experience, start to study those things, start to write those down in your phone, in your notes app, and just to start identifying like, where are these common problems that people are having, that my patients are having, that my coworkers are having, that I'm having, and then start to brainstorm ideas on how to solve those problems. And maybe the solutions and the inventions that there already are that exist, maybe they don't solve them very well. So I think that's a very good way because I honestly, you know, all this stemmed from my loneliness, right? My firsthand experience as a travel nurse, trying to figure out a, a better way to connect with people. Because at first there was just Facebook groups and Instagram and I couldn't find a good way to solve my loneliness. And then I was 
not finding a really good solution. So I just sat there and I, you know, throughout the many months of contemplating how to best solve my own loneliness, I then discovered that loneliness was actually a deep seated common theme amongst travel nurses. And now I'm seeing that this is a common problem amongst all humans in healthcare. And how can we better solve that problem? And so I did a little bit of experimenting. I sat on the idea for a long time, started having conversations with people. And that leads me to my other point of you should really validate the problem you're trying to solve with other people. Because I think a lot of times, you know, it's easy to say, oh, yeah, I'm having this problem. But how many other people are also experiencing this problem? And maybe they might give you ideas on, you know, have you thought about this for solving your problem? Have you thought about this? And they can bring up other ideas. And maybe you'll find team members that want to join in on your idea. I think as someone who has executed a really big technology and company, it is Definitely, I highly recommend not doing it alone. There's so many moving pieces to creating something and bringing it into the world. And that leads me into the other point of having finding team members, people who you trust, people who are motivated and inspired by the problem that you're trying to solve, and also setting systems in place. I think oftentimes we think about just starting to take action, which is super important, but when you're an entrepreneur, when you're a small business owner, whatever it may be that you're trying to bring out and, and create and innovate in this world, it is so easy to get so excited in the beginning with starting the thing. But unless you have systems in place, it can feel like you're starting from zero every single day. And that takes so much energy and time to start over every single day. And so really having good systems in place helps you to execute, especially on days where you might have not have that much energy or not have that much inspiration or not have that much motivation. That's completely normal. There's no way for all of us to feel inspired and motivated every single day. But that's why we have systems in place so that we can execute on those days that we might not have the most energy or the most inspiration. And so whether you get out of the hospital or clinical setting, it's so important to have structure because especially when you're so overwhelmed and you don't know where to start. And to be honest, it's four years since I've created this whole company and this mobile application. I still get overwhelmed day in, day out. And my systems really help to mitigate a lot of that. So systems are truly to help you to not feel as overwhelmed and to help you stay organized. And it really is such a lifesaver to your journey. So Thank you so much. I hope those little nuggets were so helpful. You can find me on Instagram at ever evolving M. You can DM me anytime, whether that's about nurse entrepreneurship, whether it's about loneliness, whether it's about self care, whatever it may be going outside. Those are all things that I love to chat about. I love mentoring and supporting other nurses and other people in healthcare. And please download MedVenture app for free on both iOS and Android app stores. And you can follow us on Instagram for relatable content at MedVenture app. And if you're curious about MedVenture Camp, you can follow us at MedVenture Camp as well. And we would love to have you in June for a much needed and well-deserved getaway weekend with our community if you are interested. Tickets are still alive and we hope to see you June 6th to 9th. Thank you so much for listening to the Nurse Converse podcast. I hope my story inspired you to pursue a non-traditional lifestyle and to get after what sets your soul on fire. Please remember to rate and review the podcast. This helps nurse.org to reach more listeners. And if you found something that was useful in this podcast, please share it with a friend who might benefit also from this episode. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for joining Nurse Converse, brought to you by Nurse.org. Help us grow by leaving a five-star rating and review on your favorite podcast platform. Nurse.org supports nurses with career and education tips, life advice, and breaking news. Thank you for all you do and for being you.